Hello, my name is Don Lovett. I'm a board member of the MPCA affiliate Friends of Malaysia, or FOM. I've been selected to present FOM's Lorette Miller Rupee Award nominee video. FOM is an orphan affiliate group. That means that there are no longer our Peace Corps volunteers serving in Malaysia to replenish our ranks. Our first Peace Corps volunteers arrived in 1962. These volunteers actually were posted to three different entities, the Federation of Malaya, the British Crown Colony of Sarawak, and the British Crown Colony of North Borneo. In 1963, these united to form the country of Malaysia. All of the volunteers became Malaysian PCVs. In the end, well over 3,000 Peace Corps volunteers had served in Malaysia. The last volunteers in Malaysia completed their service in 1983. There have been no new RPCVs from Malaysia for over 40 years. FOM currently has slightly over 250 members. Despite our small size, our commitment to serving the communities of our former host country remains strong. Since FOM's founding three decades ago, we have donated almost 25,000 US dollars in support of projects in Malaysia. FOM members are concerned deeply about healthcare in Malaysia. Our support of several healthcare initiatives was highlighted in our Rupee Award application. And our greatest concern has been breast cancer awareness. In Malaysia, breast cancer is the leading cause of death among women. As in many other countries, treatment of breast cancer in Malaysia is concentrated in major hospitals in large cities. Low-income women, especially those in rural areas, are less likely to be screened or treated until it is too late. FOM's most enduring and impactful relationship has been with the Sandakan Pink Ribbon Group. Funds that FOM contributed to this group were used to acquire breast models that are being used to teach women what they are looking for when they do a breast self-examination. At last count, over 15,000 women and schoolgirls have used these models to learn about the process of breast self-examination. And perhaps a few lives have been saved too. FOM also supports the Breast Cancer Awareness Welfare Association of Malaysia. This organization provides free clinical breast examinations. They take their mobile clinic to rural areas where healthcare access is limited and also to the urban poor from marginalized communities. In addition, FOM supports the National Cancer Society of Malaysia. We specifically support its program to provide free housing for rural residents who travel to the capital city of Kuala Lumpur for outpatient cancer treatment. FOM also supports other healthcare related initiatives. For example, we have supported NAS Kids, an organization that teaches young women how to sew while at the same time providing them with an income. How is this connected with healthcare? NAS Kids specifically had requested funds to support the sewing of masks during the pandemic. FOM funds purchased the materials and also compensated the young women who did the sewing. Almost a thousand masks were produced with the FOM funds. These masks were distributed to elementary schools in economically depressed towns. Recently, FOM has supported the Ku Ling Yin Art Therapy Academy. Our funds provide free access to art therapy programs for low-income youth experiencing trauma or depression. Thank you for allowing me to share with you how members of the Friends of Malaysia remain devoted to the communities of our host country through our support of healthcare initiatives in Malaysia, in particular, those related to breast cancer. We are a small group that is motivated by our enduring Peace Corps spirit and our love for a country that we briefly got to call home. Terima kasih. Thank you.